Hi guys, I hope you're doing well today. I actually just wanted to share with you how I style and curl my hair when I do the uh, barrel curl style using my curling iron. I was asked this a couple of times, so I wanted to go ahead and get this filmed. And to do this tutorial, you're just going to need your favorite curling iron. This is my Hot Tools. It's a one and a quarter inch barrel. And um, this is the 24 karat gold line. I like it because it heats up to approximately 430 degrees. I require heating my hair at around 400 degrees because it is so thick. It is smooth and healthy, but it does need a lot more heat to be able to hold a style. You're also going to need a hairbrush. This one is a natural bore bristle brush. I like this because of the qualities it possesses to be able to transfer the oils, natural oils, through your hair before you actually curl your hair or style your hair, so you'll need that. You'll need some type of heat protectant spray for this. I use the Tresemme. Uh, this is the heat tamer spray. I really think this is a nice spray. You will need a regular wide tooth comb, and I use this just primarily for sectioning my hair and uh, for parting my hair to help me achieve the style that I'm looking for. You'll need some sort of a clippy to be able to help hold the sections of your hair as you go. And then in the end, of course, you'll need your favorite hairspray. I personally use the Tresemme Extra Firm Control. This is the level four trade two spray. It's extra hold. And I use this in the end to just kind of just scrunch and to lock this style in place. All right, so we have all of our things, and primarily my techniques that I use are going to be curling my hair away from my face and towards my face. And the important thing to remember when you're trying to curl away from your face is when you're working on the right hand side of your face, you'll want to look at the clip of the curling iron. So think if you're curling the right hand side of your hair, you're going to want to be able to see the clip of the curling iron in order to be able to turn your hair away from you. Now. Opposite of that, you're going to want to take it and point it outward from you if you want to curl it towards your face. Everything's opposite on the opposite side of your face, which is where it gets kind of tricky. When you're trying to curl away from your face, you're actually going to want to point the handle of your curling iron outward away from you. So it's the exact opposite for the opposite side. Point it away from you and you'll be able to curl your hair away from your face. If you want to curl it towards your face, you're going to point the handle so you can see it. That's where I think a lot of people think it's a little bit complicated, and it is kind of hard to explain too, but I think once you start to get used to curling your hair, you'll be able to figure it out much more quickly. And the reason why that makes a difference is because when you curl your hair, there's a little section on the barrel of your curling iron that catches the last few hairs that you curl, and you'll see what I'm talking about right here. If you're turning away from your face like this, you'll have a nice smooth transition. If you're actually trying to curl the wrong way, you'll make a crimp against this and your hair will turn against it and it'll have a really odd little bended crimp in there. Once you get the hang of it and you practice it a little bit, I think you'll be able to tell right away. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think the best way to learn something is by watching. So basically all I'm going to be doing is sectioning off my hair, moving from the bottom upward, and then I'll be splitting each section into two sides. And in the back, once I get to the thicker sections, it'll be more like three sections. It's basically just going to be enough to wrap around. And I'm going to work my way through my hair, um, alternating between facing forward and facing backward. And I think you'll be able to see the technique really well. This is just basically how I do my hair quickly when I'm trying to get the natural voluminous curls that you saw in my outfit of the day. So hopefully this video will help you some way. And if you'd like to see how I do this look, then just keep watching. First, I like to part my hair in the direction that I'm going to use it. And when I part my hair, because I do have uh, page boy style bangs that have grown out, I like to do a deep part over my eyebrow and drag it up towards the crown of my head. So I'm just going to be looking back and forth in the mirror to do this. But like you can see, I have really have a lot of hair. I've slept on my hair uh, and let it dry naturally. I'm just going to brush it out with a boar bristle brush. It just really helps with increasing shine and uh, just makes your hair overall to me look a lot healthier and shinier. So now I'm just going to spray it with my heat protectant really quickly. Just kind of give it a little shuffle and make sure it's kind of soaked in really well. And then I'm going to start with sectioning off my hair. First I'm going to take and part my hair above my ears all the way around like this. I'm just going to twist my hair and I'm going to clip it up. Once I have that twisted and clipped, I'm just going to take the section, make sure there's no tangles in it before I get started. And I split this section into two separate sections and take one to each side. 
I'm going to slide it down the length of my hair. And I'm going to roll it away from my face. I'm going to hold it in place for just a moment. And once I feel my head's getting heated up a little bit, I'm going to release the curl. And you'll see I have my first curl. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to release it. And as you can see, I have another little curl. section split it in two and then I'm gonna curl these next that are closer towards my face, I'm going to kind of alternate between turning the curls forward and turning the curls away from my face. And I just kind of play with the texture a little bit to see if I like the way the curls are falling. There's no really set way that you have to decide which way your curls are going to go. I think a lot of times if you just kind of randomize it a little bit, it um, makes for a much more natural PC kind of look when you're doing the curls in your hair. All right, once you get to the very front or the sides that frame your face, you're gonna to wanna to pay very close attention to these areas that you curl. These are the ones that are just gonna kind of frame your face and um, you definitely want a good defined curl. So for these areas, I actually choose a smaller section of hair. Alright, now I'm actually going to do my bangs, and for this section, I want to actually curl the bangs away from my face. So again, I'm looking at the clip. The clip side is facing me. I'm going to place it on my bangs, and because, like I said, I have blunt cut or page boy style bangs, I'm just going to kind of twist it away. I'm going to let this area set a little bit longer than the rest of it, simply because my hair, like I said, is thicker, and I want to make sure that I get a really good curl on the front section. And you can see right away, it just makes like a little wave. And then I move on to the next area. And again, I want this area right here to face away from me. And you can see with that done, you can actually piece the curls together. And they kind of make one continuous curl that brings your bangs out of your face. 